Hi, in this video I want to talk for a few minutes about the digital notebook we'll be using for our class EDS 450. When you're a teacher in your own classroom, your students will use notebooks in order to take notes and organize their ideas as you're teaching. Uh, you might be using a paper notebook similar to the composition book here shown here. That was my preferred style when I had a middle school classroom. It could be a spiral notebook, but more teachers are starting to switch to interactive notebooks that are digital. And with COVID-19 for this semester, we're using a digital notebook. So I want to walk you through how this is set up. First, we'll go to present mode. So on the cover, you can actually customize it with your name here. And if you click on the tabs, it will walk you through each week. So each tab is a different week. And I've put in one graphic organizer. This particular style of notes, if you haven't seen it before, is called Cornell Notes. And on this is an audio to explain how to fill in Cornell notes. All right on this one, you're going to do Cornell notes. I've scaffolded it more. It's got um, prompting questions, and there's a video attached to this link. Sometimes we use a different organizer. This is a dialectical journal format. This one is a snapshot summary. Sometimes it's just plain yellow pages. At the very end for week 15, I filled that with resources. So there are resources for graphic organizers that you can use when teaching historical thinking, such as this one for significance, this one for causation, uh, vocabulary building, uh, the iRead protocol for historical thinking. So these are at the end. All right. So on our week, I've gone back to this you are able to customize this. I'd encourage you to keep up with the table of content so you can see what's on it. You can add a week. If you add something behind, like you add another page of notes to week one, you can add another row there and put it behind. The um, format, if you don't like, let's say you get really tired of watching, uh, sorry, taking Cornell notes. If you want to switch it, click on slide, edit master it will take you to the different master templates that are here. You can add your own or modify one of the ones that's here. All of these that look very similar, the only thing that's different is right here where it's on a different tab. This is a week nine uh, template. This is a week 10. So I've moved it for that, but there are other types of templates. If we go down here, here's a plain Cornell notes. Um, this is just a blank one. Um, we've got the cover, we have different two column notes. So it's up to you. So there will be a few times when we're going to turn in pages from this and I'll show you how to do that during the semester. Thanks and I hope you have a great semester.